of the art. But let me just uh, mention that uh, uh, there is a, a move towards easy to use immunoassays. There are actually two main ways for ELISA based multi assays. Um, <clears throat> one uh, is actually determination of groups with cross reactive, uh, reactive antibodies. You find actually antibodies which are, uh, which are able to detect both uh, at, um, acetylated deoxynivalenol, and all nivalenol and deoxynivalenol. And so that is one way of kind of having a multi assay uh, in kind of in a total um, 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 toxin approach. <clears throat> or you uh, use different specific antibodies in separate rows. For instance, here you could actually have different rows uh, or uh, micro data plates. So usually the, uh, the uh, rapid tests are easy to use, yes or no tests. However, the price for the simplification is a loss of sensitivity. Uh, usually uh, strip tests like this are not as sensitive as an ELISA test, also because there is no washing step, there is hardly any rinsing step. With ELISA, you actually uh, you have more degrees of freedom, so to speak. Uh, so extremely good antibodies are uh, needed for easy to use tests uh, to integrate <coughs> these antibodies in a, in a, stip, in a, in a dipstick, immunocard, slutter or flow device. Uh, so there are actually different uh, setups. <coughs> uh, this is uh, how uh, in, uh, a, a dipstick for the mycotoxin T2 toxin can look like. You've actually got a control line which indicates that uh, with the species specific antibodies that the ELISA is principally working properly uh, and then we've got a second line which is the uh, the test line which indicates you uh, according to the intensity the presence of a mycotoxin the more intense the line is the less mycotoxin you have there and the other way around because this is a so-called uh, direct uh, con uh, competitive assay all the competitive assays uh, show a kind of a confusing result uh, high signal, low concentration, um, and uh, uh, a low signal, high concentration. That can, however, be integrated in a, in a, a photometric reflectant measurement device, which gives you uh, a value uh, for um, the, semi, the semi quantitative value of a, a certain mycotoxin. <coughs> and uh, just to round that up, that actually uh, reporting results. Uh, that uh, when you have such a, st a strip test <coughs> and uh, you uh, perform measurements of T2 toxin in natural contaminated wheat, 259 microgram per kilogram down to 32 microgram per kilogram in the blank, you perform 10 measurements and you get actually how many positive results do I get and how many negative results. Certainly any negative result is an absolute no-go. Uh, a positive result is acceptable, but uh, uh, it is not to be overinterpreted. Uh, uh, but uh, that is why we have got a cut of value, which is the concentration threshold below which positive identification becomes unreliable. And you can actually see that at the level of 79 mi microgram per kilogram of T2 toxin, you have 10 replicate measurements, you have 10 positive results, no neg uh, negative results. However, if you go lower, 64, you have got 10 replicates, only six positive results, four negative results. So that is the cutoff value uh, of that test kit. So you would actually recommend a customer or you as a user, well, that test is not to be um, used for concentrations lower than that or any concentration uh, below uh, 80 cannot uh, be measured. That is very important to be aware of that. <coughs> and that's last but not least, there are so-called uh, emerging technologies like MIT and NR and near-infrared screening, fluorescence polarization, biosensors with uh, uh, surface plasma resonance, so SPR standing for surface plasma resonance, electrochemical immunoassays, uh, non-instrumental screening techniques uh, with uh, columns where for, where, where, for instance, have here <coughs> um, 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 a flow through, uh, 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 a flow, flow through column where you are able to trap your analyte of interest in a certain zone. Then you put this whole thing into a photometer uh, and uh, can measure 
the, uh, the mycotoxin right away. So a combination of solid phase extraction column with a detection device by putting the uh, extraction, uh, uh, the solid phase extraction column right into the photometer. Well, that is a method which we have uh, developed on our own, which uh, is uh, one of these emerging methods uh, which might uh, be of interest in the future. <coughs> For that particular project, I just got last month uh, the indication that uh, we get another 1.5 million euro from the European Commission. It's about uh, meter infrared screening. So what we do is actually is here, <coughs> we put a mace powder sample on a crystal and then actually we couple here an infrared beam into this crystal and uh, the infrared beam migrates through a couple of internal reflection uh, through this uh, crystal and at each point of, ref of a reflection point it, uh, it, uh, uh, it uh, interacts with, uh, the, uh, with the matrix of interest. So in this case the matrix of interest could be a dioxinivalenol containing maze uh, we have got an electromagnetic field which is actually penetrating into that material uh, and as some uh, electromagnetic energy penetrates into the material once there is actually a change in the matrix as a result of the fusarium infection, this might be detected, detectable through specific absorption bands in, uh, in an infrared uh, detector. <coughs> and this is actually how a blank in blue sample and the contaminated in red sample looks like. As you can see, you see nothing. It actually it looks the same. So you need actually chemometric evaluation uh, by looking actually into the carbohydrate bands and the carbonyl bands uh, and also the amide region, which is protein. Once there is a toxin there, there is a fungus there, then actually the protein content might, might change. Also the protein content and composition might change of the, of the material. And actually, believe it or not, you can actually distinguish uh, for chemometric evaluation between blank maize down to 300 mi uh, microgram per kilogram and contaminated maize in this region. And uh, we actually, we, we haven't received uh, uh, further funding. There was also not interest by, by industry. Why? Because simply the light sources were not strong enough. Now there's a new generation of meter infrared uh, emitting lights, which is so-called which is the so-called quantum cascade lasers. And uh, these lasers can and will now be employed to further, uh, further uh, develop that methodology. A method which is already uh, established is uh, the use of biosensors, so-called surface plasma resonance. <coughs> you again have an ATR crystal with a prism. This ATR crystal, so attenuated total reflection, is coated with a gold film. And the, on this gold film, you have got uh, a, a couple of specific antibodies or uh, anti-gene protein uh, uh, conjugates uh, immobilized. You've got a flow channel bringing in the sample with the mycotoxins. And once my, a mycotoxin binds to the antibody or the, in, the, in the sense of a competitive reaction, uh, you have actually uh, antibodies binding to the anti-gene protein complex. Then uh, the polarized light which is coupled into the sensor chip will, owing to the change in the refractive index here, uh, change uh, the angle of the reflected light which can actually be measured through an absorption minimum, the so-called resonance frequency. So this is a complicated technique but just to give you an idea uh, that there is actually surface plasma resonance which works the way gold-coated uh, gold uh, um, um, crystal antibodies and then uh, light change in the reflective index and change of the uh, angle of reflection. Uh, these uh, uh, antibody-based systems can also be integrated in so-called microarrays. So actually you uh, can imagine a glass slide like this which contains 24 individual reaction chambers. Each of these chambers contains epoxy modified uh, um, glass uh, areas with uh, the antibody, uh, sorry, with the antigen, the mycotoxin coupled to a protein. And again, you have got uh, 
antibodies, these antibodies are labeled with a fluorescence uh, uh, dye, and once there is uh, mycotoxin in your sample, these antibodies will compete with the same mycotoxin in solution and the mycotoxin which is actually immobilized to this glass light. And again, the more mycotoxin the solution, the fewer of these uh, fluorescent labeled antibodies will reach the surface and will, will, will actually give different uh, light intensities which you actually can uh, measure with an appropriate detector. That is science fiction. Not, not really, I mean, there, has been man, there has been a couple of uh, measurements and also, um, uh, and also uh, developments in that area, but it has not reached routine uh, analytical level yet. So let me summarize that a cleanup mainly surface <coughs> solid phase extraction, multifunctional immunoaffinity columns are still uh, the most important cleanup techniques in use. Uh, thin layer chromatography and also high performance liquid chromatography are still the most frequently employed analytical methods for the official determination of mycotoxins. LC tandem mass spectrometry is increasingly used for the simultaneous quantification and identification that is the major strength of MS that you can do quantification and identification at the same <coughs> time point of more than 300 fungal metabolites or, and also including bacterial ones. Uh, I've also pointed out the importance of certified reference materials and also certified calibrants uh, to reveal systematic errors. And finally, easy to use uh, assays are mainly based on antibody-based systems. So that is actually still, uh, nothing has changed, the, the, nothing has changed ma much over the last 10 years. All the rapid assays which are around are still based on proper antibodies and uh, that is uh, why it is actually still a tough business in order uh, to uh, find uh, appropriate uh, rapid uh, test systems. 